want to help other people. Teenagers. Go to college or something. You can get a job. I don't need to go to college. I'm an actor. I can be anyone. I can do anything. Hi, I'm Peter Kent with Daily Extra, and I'm here with Pat Mills, the director of Guidance. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so maybe to start things off, just tell us a little bit about this film. Sure. Um, well, it's called Guidance, and it's a low-budget Canadian feature film. It's my first feature, and it's uh, about a loser, alcoholic, former child actor who's in his mid-30s, and he needs to pay rent, and he can't get a job, so he fakes his resume and becomes a high school guidance counselor. So he goes into a school, and he thrives giving terrible advice. My name is Mr. Roland Brown. It's a pleasure to meet you. Going into this TIFF um, as you know your first feature, um, that must feel different than all the other TIFFs that have come before. How are you feeling sort of going into this? I'm really excited, but I'm a little afraid because it's the first time that it's going to be like work. It's the first time that, you know, there's more at stake. You know, I think that we want to sell the film. We have a sales agent. We've had publicists. It's just sort of the, it's new for me to, you know, go in there where there are more eyes on you. I mean, it's super exciting, but it's more nerve-wracking. But I'll be okay. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to our brand new guidance counselor. Can you help me with my shyness? Let's do a shot. And you didn't just uh, direct this film, you star in it and you wrote it, um, and you've described it as an alternate autobiography of sorts. Um, mm -hmm. you maybe you want to talk a little bit about what you mean by that and how you are sort of portrayed in this film. Yeah, it's basically what could have happened to my life if I were more insane and didn't have a good head on my shoulders. Not that I do, but um, I kind of was looking at my life and wanted to make fun of it. And I used to be a child actor, and I'm a filmmaker in Canada, which kind of makes me a bit of a loser and a bit sexually repressed myself. So I kind of created this character as an alter ego based out of my own personality. David, you're gay. No, I'm not gay. I just have a gentle voice. I think this world is really shitty. And if you fit into it, that makes you shitty too. The character that you play in the film is closeted, um, you yourself or not, but no. it deals with um, sort of the idea of coming out, sort of, but in a way much different than you would typically see um, in these in sort of t coming out narratives. Well, I, I personally get kind of bored with um, the coming out stories where people just meet the perfect guy and now they're out and happy and everything's great. Like, it just doesn't work that way. I wanted to have a story about a guy who accepts himself by trying to help teenagers. And by helping teenagers, he's kind of helping himself like mature. I came out at a relatively typical time, like I think it was in my early 20s, but I didn't lose my virginity until I was in my late 20s. So I lived with that sexual repression for like a really, really long time because everybody knew I was gay and I was comfortable with it, but I was not comfortable with like flirting with guys or I didn't know how to, how to start with that. So I, one of the characters in the movie is this shy girl and my character just gets her drunk and forces her to flirt with a guy. And I kind of wish a guidance counselor made me do that when I was 17, because then I would have just gotten it over with earlier, because if you wait too long, it becomes the thing. So I kind of use that to inspire this sexual repressed character. And I've always been out, but this guy cannot accept it, because he's so in denial of everything. So thanks so much for being here, Pat. Great, thanks, and Peter. have a great tiff. Thank you. And keep watching for more of our tip coverage here at Daily Extra. Everybody knows that teenagers are going to drink and smoke drugs. If you do it with them, everybody has fun.